there any satisfaction in denying the American Always satisfaction in denying Michigan and I'm going to spawn the country. <laughs> The way the schedule played out, Kansas, Duke, those games, did any of you guys feel like you needed a win like today to establish yourselves as contenders again, or do you, do you think that way? Uh, I mean, sure, it's always in the back of your mind. You know, we hadn't played our best when we played the better teams that we've played throughout this year, and uh, I think, you know, we just kind of took a step back, took a step back and try to find a way to, to get a, a big win. And uh, any time you can do it against a team like Michigan uh, in, in this league, uh, and you just can't lose at home. And, and that's something that we, you really harp on if you want to be there at the end of the end of the season to try to win a Big Ten championship. So um, the worst thing we could do now is kind of rest on this. And, and you know, uh, it doesn't get much easier. You know, we go up to Michigan State uh, next week, next weekend. So um, enjoy this tonight, but still find a way to get better throughout this week uh, and be ready to go. This is, uh, this is one of the most uh, efficient offenses in the country, and you held them to 38% from the field, and you got 13 turnovers. What was the biggest key to that, and uh, I mean, how pleased are you with the, the defensive effort today? Um, team defense came out with juice, toughness. We had we, we um, learned our uh, scouting report real well. We knew everybody execution, what they did on Michigan, and we was together on defense. We came out with heart, and we played hard, and... And like I, like Crab said earlier, our big man's helped us real a lot. Uh, coming off the trade, coming off the screens, showing, you know, being just active. The, uh, I mean, I think a little bit. I mean, it's always in the back of your mind, but um, when you tend to make things personal uh, in in games like this, you tend not to play your best. Uh, so. Uh, and he's he's still learning. He's a sophomore, and he's still you know he's the sky's the limit for him at this point. So he's he's continuing to get better, and I think he does a good job of you know kind of blocking out all the outside uh, influences and pressures, and just plays the game. He's he's got a phenomenal team around him, and uh, he's been doing a great job of getting those guys involved and and not just trying to uh, you know shoot the ball as much as he was last year. So Aaron, a lot of the uh, real well. I I was. Excited, you know. I was pumped, you know. I was, I was geek, you know, as they say. I was happy for my teammates. We was together, and I was just ready. I was ready for this game. Aaron, um, you went by Trey a lot early in the game. You got a lot of, you get, you guys had great driving lanes early in the game. Eli said that they got a little bit excited and got away from their game plan and got up on you guys too much. Were you surprised that? They were up into you as much as they were early in the game. Uh, not a ton. Uh, I mean, they they have some great athletes over there that that are capable of doing that. Uh, they, they hadn't showed it a, a ton this year, but obviously in a game of um, with this type of atmosphere and, and the first time they've they've been on the road in the Big Ten uh, in an atmosphere like this, you know, you kind of expect them to be a little amped up and do some things that they don't normally do. Uh, and you come in with that expectation to kind of ha try to handle it and kind of get past that, and then it'll slow down and and the systems kind of take over from there. Aaron, a lot of other subplots of this game, they're ranking your guys' previous performances against ranked foes, Very you nice and Trey, game. there's a lot of them. Um, for you guys specifically, you, you mentioned at interviews that you couldn't afford to fall two games back in this and regain positioning in the Big Ten race, even though we're only four games in. I mean, it's huge. Uh, it, it's really tough to win on the road here in the Big Ten, uh, so you have to protect home court. Uh, and... I mean, like you said, there are a lot of kind of sidebars and things like that. But but it came down to, you know, it was still a basketball game. And uh, we felt pretty confident coming in um, through our preparation that, you know, we could we could do well and we could be successful if, if we stuck to the system. Uh, and we did a good job of taking some deep breaths down the stretch and, and really kind of honing in on, on what we had done throughout practice. Uh, and, and fortunate enough, we, we came out on top. The first uh, 13 minutes, you guys get out to a 29-8 lead just – what was the, the key in that whole sequence? seemed like you got a lot out of your defense going to offense and got into a rhythm. Just what were the keys in building such a big lead uh, against them early in the game? Just, man, for, like, we had uh, building our walls. Like, they tra their transition is, is unbelievable. They got they had some really good athletes. That's one of the things we really focus on with Trent. Not to let them get any easy buckets and transitions. We kind of let up a little bit going at the end of the first half. But that was that was one of the big keys we really worked on this week. Um, 
challenging shots. They they got some they got some score. They got three really good scores. The Stouts kiss uh, Hardaway and uh, Burke. It's really good uh, perimeter scoring down there. And we wanted to, uh, if they caught it down low, just be physical and make it tough for them to finish. I think we did a pretty good job of that. Those are three, three, some of the biggest things that we really worked on, and, and I think we did that pretty well today. Aaron, what was the game plan on Stelskis? What did you guys try to do to limit him? He didn't score the first time this year. Uh, he he was a great player, and he can and really shoot the ball. I think um, getting those fouls early on him uh, really kind of took him out of his rhythm. Uh, we know it, it was a team effort, and our big guys did a great job of hedging out and screens and things. But you know, we really told our guards we had to chase hard and um, try to make him put it on the floor, and hopefully try to make him make some decisions. Uh, don't give him anything easy quickly. Uh, and I think Sam and, and L did a great job of trailing, and then obviously with. It's the best defense is having him sit on the bench and, and not being able to shoot the ball at all over there. So. Eric, can you talk about that last uh, three-point shot that Burke took that I mean, if he had gone in and would have won the game for them? And, and really, how you defended him that whole game? Ah, uh, that was a great shot. Um, I thought I was not going. I thought I was going to go in when I turned around. Um, Elle did a great job grabbing the rebound. That was probably the most important part of the whole play. Um, but once again, he's a he's a great player. Um, he he's really done a great job of getting better over his freshman to sophomore year. Uh, and, and it definitely wasn't just me out there, you know, Rav and DT and these guys. Uh, we did a great job of having team defense all night uh, for the most part. And, and that's what it takes to, to beat a team like Michigan and, um, and how many scores and great players you can put out there at the same time. So. Thank you. Thank you.